Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Chronicles of Narnia. Now this is a children's fantasy series. There are seven books in the series and they were published between 1950 and 1956. These books were written by C.S. Lewis and they are pretty famous and well known in the fantasy genre. Uh, for most fantasy readers, they're probably on their shelves uh, and they probably have collector's items of the Chronicles of Narnia. A lot of readers of fantasy that started reading fantasy as children fell in love with these books and became fantasy readers because of these books. So they're pretty famous in the fantasy world. I had only read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and The Magician's Nephew out of the seven books before this year. And so this past year, um, my son and I, we were talking about my reading goals at the end of last year, around Christmas time. And we were talking about the series. And so as I was make, creating my goals for 2022, my son said he would buddy read them with me so that I could read the whole series. And so we started that in January and we just finished last week. And we had a wonderful time reading through the Chronicles of Narnia. Again, I had already read The Magician's Nephew and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, so I was already familiar with Narnia, but I was interested in the other books to see what uh, C.S. Lewis, where he went with the story. And so today I wanted to talk to you about which stories I liked better and why, and also the order in which to read them, because even though you know, you can get one of these sets, which this is our set of The Chronicles of Narnia, it's actually a beautiful um, boxed set. There's um, that on one side and then this on the other and um, they, they fit nicely into this uh, box and I bought this so that we could go through it together because what I did was I had the book I have a library, a very small library right down the road from me. So I purchased this box set and so my son would take one book and then I would check one out from, out from the library so we both have a copy. Anyway, we love this, this set. It's a beautiful set. If you enjoy the Chronicles of Narnia, this is a great set to get. But what I was saying was that even though they have a certain publication order and that is I think the way that they are set up in this box set, after reading it, I wouldn't necessarily go in that order. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that too. So in this set, the first book is The Magician's Nephew, but The Magician's Nephew was not written first. I'm gonna look at the publications. Let's see, the first book was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and it was written in, it was published in 1950. Then Prince Caspian in 1951, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader in 1952, The Silver Chair in 1953. Then we have The Horse and His Boy, which is another controversial book of where to read it, and that is in 1954. Then we have the first book that is in the series, which is The Magician's Nephew in 1955. And finally, the last book in this box set is The Last Battle, which is 1956. So when you look at when they were published, you kind of question, okay, which order should I read them? And I remember reading somewhere where someone had written to C.S. Lewis and asked, which order should I read these? And he said it didn't matter about reading them in the order that, you know, they're set up chronologically or reading them in publication order. So I just went with, okay, we've got this box set. We'll start with number one and work our way through number seven in the set. And now that I've done that, I think that it's better to do it a different way. So whenever um, we started, we started with the Magician's Nephew. Again, I had already read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That was the first one I had read. So when I read The Magician's Nephew years ago, I was able to appreciate The Magician's Nephew much more because I had already read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So I do not think you should start with The Magician's Nephew. I think you should read it a little later. Um, my son thinks, and I tend to agree with him, that you should read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe first and then read The Magician's Nephew next because I think you, it's, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the, the core of this series. It's the main book that has the most of the important symbolism and 
what he's trying to say, what C.S. Lewis was trying to say through throughout this series. And so I think definitely start with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and then read The Magician's Nephew because The Magician's Nephew is a prequel to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Now, The Horse and His Boy, I would not read next because we read it, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and then The Horse and His Boy, and I didn't like that order. I mean, it was a fine read. If I had to give it a star rating, I would say three stars. It's a fine story on its own, but to me, it just doesn't fit in the flow of the other books. So, personally, if if you were going by the way that I think you should read it, I would read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and then read uh, The Magician's Nephew because I think it just gives a, I don't know, it just gives some, builds some excitement for what's to come to me. The Magician's Nephew is just such a favorite. And then read Prince Caspian next. Let's see. So Prince Caspian was the one that was actually published after The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was 1950. Prince Caspian came in 1951. Then I would read The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which was published next in 1952, and then The Silver Chair in 1953, and then I would read The Last Battle, which is the final book in the series. In 1950, it was published in 1956. And if you want to read The Horse and His Boy and to complete the series, I would just read that at the end because to me, it just doesn't fit in the Chronicles of Narnia like the rest of the books. But that is my humble opinion. You, of course, can read it however you want to. And you would understand the story still if you read it that way because, again, it was my third book in the series and that's the way I read it. But it just stuck out as in awkward and weird and confusing, to be honest. When I first started it, I thought, okay, the children aren't in the story. The, the Narnia children are not in that story. There's a totally different story. And it just wasn't as good as the others. Okay, so that's my thoughts on how to read the Chronicles of Narnia. Now, in ranking the books, I would say that... Um, there are certain ones that stood out for me. They're all good books and I enjoyed all the adventures, but some of them stood out more than others. So I'm gonna try to rank them by uh, my most favorite to least favorite. And the first one would have to be The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Now I go back and forth and say The Magician's Nephew or The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but I, I have to say, I wouldn't enjoy The Magician's Nephew as much if I had not already read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So I put it at the top because I feel like for C.S. Lewis, this was like his passionate project. And he really conveys his message well within that story. And you could read just The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and get all that you need to from the series. Of course, I suggest reading them all because they're so much fun, but is held within The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But then when I read The Magician's Nephew, oh, I just had such a great time. And it really excited me for the rest of this series. So I would say The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is my favorite because of that. And then The Magician's Nephew because it's so different than The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and so interesting in how they move about from here and this other place so it just was very interesting to me and i enjoyed the prequel of how narnia came to be i just really found that interesting and then i would say um i go back and forth with this because i loved the voyage of the dawn treader when we read the voyage of the dawn treader i was like oh this is my favorite this is my favorite as we were reading it because it's so adventurous it's just a wonderful one and in that particular one the way that they enter into um, Narnia is just super interesting. And what makes this one so great is there is a new character that goes with them to Narnia and his name is Eustace. And Eustace makes for a super interesting character in the story. So I really liked it for that. And I, I loved this one. So I go back and forth between if this is my favorite or if the silver chair is my f next favorite because the silver chair, the reason I loved it so much was it was so different. Um, they go into sort of this dark underworld and I liked that adventure because it felt different but still 
had the Narnia elements. I, I don't know even how to explain what I mean, but I just loved this adventure too. But sitting here right now, I'm going to commit to this would be my third favorite in the series and this would be my fourth favorite because I did love uh, how Eustace was introduced in the story and how they enter back into Narnia in the story. And there are lots of great adventures in this one. So I'll say that uh, was the third. And then um, the silver chair is my fourth. Then my fifth would be Prince Caspian. I really enjoyed Prince Caspian when we read it. I felt like the uh, adventure was just rolling on along and I enjoyed it. I love that story of Prince Caspian. I thought it was a great one too. Uh, but I would put it as my um, the next one in line. And then number six for me would be the one we just finished, which is the final one in the series. And that is The Last Battle. And I love this one for how it sums everything up. It goes back to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and even to Magician's Nephew. So you need to be read Magician's Nephew before you read this one for sure. It, it brings in some elements from both the Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and even some other adventures along the way. So this one definitely needs to be at the end or very close to the end of your reading of this series. But I did like this one, especially the last couple of chapters of this one, because everything uh, fell together and you really uh, had a satisfying ending to this series. So I enjoy it for that reason. And finally, the last one would be The Horse and His Boy because, well, <laughs> it just wasn't as uh, good to me as the rest of the books. And I felt like it was just sort of a filler story, just a filler adventure in the Chronicles of Narnia. And it just seems separate to me. For some reason, it's just separate. The, the children aren't in this for, for the main reason. The adventure itself just didn't draw me in as much as the others. So those are my um, opinions on um, the different books, and that's my ranking of how uh, I felt about each book. Also, the the way that I think you should read it, the order in which I think that you should read the Chronicles of Narnia. Have you read the Chronicles of Narnia? If not, I do hope that you'll pick it up and try it. And I think that you should start with The Lion, the Witch, of the Wardrobe first and make sure that you read uh, The Last Battle and The Horse and His Boy at the end of the series. I loved reading it. I thought it was a great adventure. I think it is a wonderful place to start with fantasy. Uh, if you have a child that enjoys fantasy, this is definitely a must read for any child who loves those type stories. And I think any child would enjoy this if they enjoy fairy tales. Uh, any type of fairy tale elements or fantasy elements are through these and they're great adventures and they have a great meaning to the story as well. And I also, as an adult, loved it too. So if you've never had the chance to read this one, try to grab The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and start there. And then, of course, end with The Last Battle or um, The Horse and His Boy. Make sure that you read The Magician's Nephew before you read The Last Battle. Those are my thoughts on the Chronicles of Narnia. Let me know in the comments if you've read it or if you plan to read it soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.